Hey there cootie crew and welcome back to my channel. Today it's craft time again and we're going to take these battery powered candles and make them a little more gothic in just a few simple steps. For this craft you're going to need your battery powered candle, I just got it at the craft store, a lot of hot glue, white spray paint, and then brown paint. The white and brown paint are the colors that I use to make my example. You can try this craft with different colors, different combinations, anything like that, but I found that the white and brown looks best for what I'm going for. And then the hot glue is just to make that dripping wax effect. So let's go into more detail on how to do this. All right, now let's talk about the technique. So first you just want to start at the very top edge of the candle and make a new line at the top, just again to give it a little more of a waxy feel. And then just in a downward motion, take those big globs of wax and pull them down the sides of the candle. Now for some of these, you can keep pumping that hot glue and make a nice big thick glob of wax all the way down or like that you just make a glob at the top and then just pull it down really quickly and that just makes a thinner and shorter little piece and you just do this around the entire candle and then it's best to in spaces where you're going to be making large globs of this fake wax to do it all at one time that way the wax kind of melts together if you wait for it to cool and then go back and try and do it, it doesn't really mush together as much and you get some harsher lines. But one thing to note is that you can in fact go over it a second layer later after the first one dries and that'll just look like even more wax dripping. So it's really hard to go wrong here as long as you take the hot glue globs and just bring them down the edge of the candle. That's really all there is to it. One tip that I have for you is to really build up that top edge and go over it a couple times just because it helps it look more waterfally. And then focus on sections that have a lot more wax pour over than others. Once you're done, let it cool for a minute or two and then just go over the candle and kind of rub off those spider webby pieces or the thinner pieces because once you start painting, it's going to look kind of bizarre to have those really thin pieces just because when wax drips, they're usually in chunky, drippy pieces and not little thin spider webby pieces. It doesn't seem like it would make that big of a difference but I promise you it does. So take your time on this step. Now it's time for painting. So cover the flame. I used it a little piece of foil. Then take a paint and primer spray paint and lightly coat the outside of the candle. This just helps everything be one color and also for the paint to stick later. Once the spray paint is all dry, you can see that it already starts to look more like a candle because that hot glue is now the same color as the candle and not clear. So it's a little easier to see what you got going on. Plus it already looks pretty cool. The next step is to add that dimension and grime to the candle. So for that, start with a little glass of water and then just mix in some brown acrylic paint. Here you see me put in a couple drops of that brown paint, but after this it was too thin so I ended up adding about two or three times more than this. Really you just need it to be murky paint that's watery enough that you can mush it around with a paper towel. You also see that I have black paint. I experimented with that, didn't go well, use brown. Now when you put it on, use a paintbrush and just sort of dab it into the areas around where that wax drip is. This just helps it to be a little darker around those sections and it also helps the paint get under that wax a little bit and make it pop a little bit more. So you can see here that the paint is a little more watery than normal paint but it's still thick enough to show up as brown when you put it on the candle. 
then just take a paper towel and dab away that paint after it's been sitting there for a couple seconds and just start spreading it around the rest of the candle. And you can do this in layers as many times as you need to get that good grime effect. And then when you have extra paint mixture on your paper towel, feel free to spread that all over the candle and the top of the wax pieces because again, it's just all about adding dimension. So if you need to go over this in layers or until you feel that it's grimy enough for your taste, that is all up to you and your artistic freedom. Now, the more time you spend dabbing around the wax layers, the more they're gonna pop. And the same goes for using the paintbrush around those wax strips. The more you do that, the more they're gonna pop. So this is all your artistic freedom and it's totally up to you how much you want them to stand out versus to just be a little bit grimy. I am all about the super grime just because of all the other decorations that I have in my house. So I'm layering it up here and I go over it about two or three times um, just to get, yeah, more grime built up on there. And that's it. Once you're done with that and that paint is dry, your candles are all done. I think it makes a pretty dramatic effect with the decorations and I absolutely love it. It's a great option for Halloween decorations or if you're like me, living room decorations. Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate it. If you try this craft, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. Maybe check out the other videos that I have on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for more crafts like this.